Hi, Mark Washburn from PondAlgaeSolutions.com here, and today I wanted to talk about a factor that we sometimes overlook with uh, ponds of all sizes, and that is weather conditions. Um, today it's a rainy day here in Iowa. It's cold and rainy, uh, even though it's late July, and uh, the rain is something that will affect your pond in many ways, but primarily uh, one of the things that you see is when we get hard rains particularly, you will see a lot of water runoff into uh, large ponds, small ponds, doesn't matter. When this runs off into the pond itself, it can create a nutrient spike, and it's not unusual to see blooms of algae pop up where you didn't see them before. Another interesting phenomenon in ponds, and particularly larger ponds, when you see algae on the surface and you get a hard rain, sometimes that algae gets driven down below the water surface. Inevitably, with a combination of the nutrient spikes that you get with rains, as well as all of this uh, circulation that takes place in the pond, it won't be very long before you'll see that algae often come back in a few days. So, um, you know, rainfall is a big, big factor with regards to uh, constant or chronic algae blooms. One way that we deal with those is using uh, the biological methods that we've talked about uh, many times in these videos. Our algae solution product is a, a beneficial bacteria that is designed to lower nutrient loads in the ponds and keep algae at bay. Now, interestingly, when people have used this type of system following a heavy rain, it's not unusual to see the algae pop up in spots, particularly around the, the edges of the pond. Uh, when you see this, oftentimes because of the way our system works, because it keeps charging out beneficial bacteria into the pond system on a 24-7 basis continually, uh, within a day or two you'll see that algae disappear. In an untreated pond, it may take a lot longer for the algae to go away, or it may stay and prosper from there. But always remember that our ponds are dynamic systems. They are not static, large or small. They are constantly being influenced by the environment. One of the previous videos we talked about involves sun exposure. And in shallow ponds and in small backyard ponds, sun exposure is a huge player in terms of green water problems and other types of algae. Rain can also be a factor. And so uh, today on this beautiful day in Iowa, I wanted to cover that topic and I hope that it provides you a little more information about how to keep your pond looking good uh, through any conditions that you may face. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.